Sitting next to the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, Bandon Dunes Golf Resort in South Oregon has built a mighty reputation in a very short space of time. Its first course opened in 1999, not that you'd know by just looking, and Bandon now boasts five distinctly unique layouts along a 23-mile bluff, which stay true to the legacy of Scotland's ancient links. You know, it's really one man's dream and one man's passion, Michael Kaiser, uh, who uh, made his fortune through recycled paper greeting cards in this country and founded his company on Earth Day. Uh, he began looking for uh, a place where he could build golf on sand, having a, a passion for the golf courses overseas. So he acquired the site and went through the permitting process, which took some time, and uh, uh, planned out you know, the first golf course. Bandon Dunes itself was the first layout to open, followed by Pacific Dunes two years later. Both have already made their way into the Rolex list of the world's top 1,000 golf courses. Some of us thought that we might see some erosion to the 30,000 rounds that uh, Bandon Dunes did in its first stable last year, but in actuality, uh, play went up on Bandon Dunes when we opened Pacific Dunes, and both courses been so well received, and of course along in 2005 came Bandon Trails designed by Bill Coor, Ben Crenshaw, and then uh, 2010 the opening of Old McDonald, uh, designed by, again by Tom Doak and Jer Jim Urbina, and then more recently the opening of the Preserve on May 1, uh, which is a non-profit golf course, uh, which will, the proceeds from that will be used to sustain uh, conservation initiatives of the Wild Rivers Coastal Alliance. Along with a sympathetic and supportive environmental approach, the resort is proud of its caddy program, which tries to provide new opportunities for those struggling to find work in such a remote part of the state. It may well be the largest caddy program in the U.S. Some of them are from the local area and went to the uh, caddy college that we started at the community college and, and stay with us all year. And some come from other parts of the country going to the Sun Belt uh, during the shoulder season and coming back to us in the high season. You won't find bull washers, yardage markers or golf buggies on any of the courses, adding to the natural feel of this very special place. There wasn't a lot of earth moved, um, and the, you know, the sand provides a natural drainage. There really aren't any uh, sort of man-made uh, uh, objects out there, you know, artificial lakes and so on. It's, it's really all about the coastline. It's about the sand dunes. It's about the, the native grasses. It's about uh, using the terrain, using the land uh, as we found it. American Golf's ruling body, the USGA, are big fans, and they've shown their support by choosing Bandon to stage several of their tournaments. The Amateur Public Lynx uh, championships were hugely successful. Uh, it was the first time they'd been combined, and we were able to uh, pull them off without any, I mean, we were, we were challenged by it, but it, I think most people felt that we did it seamlessly. We sure tried hard. And while hosting larger events may be on the horizon, at Bandon, maintaining the traditions will always take priority. The avid golfer, the foursome, uh, we don't want to do things that will in any way interrupt their experience. We want it to be very natural and, 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 and for them to enjoy golf as it was meant to be played. Unfussy, unforgettable and utterly beguiling, Bandon Dunes Resort captures the very essence of the game.